Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The state media is reporting that the main nuclear facility, the Yongbyon complex, has resumed full operations. It says that Pyongyang is improving its weapons in quality and quantity. The reactor produces plutonium needed for nuclear weapons. Experts say the facility could produce enough plutonium to build one bomb each year. Yongbyon was shut down in 2007. A boat carrying refugees has sunk off the southwestern coast. The boat was reportedly headed to the Greek island of Kos. At least 10 people died. The Turkish Coast Guard rescued at least 200. The UN's refugee agency says more than 380,000 asylum seekers have crossed the Mediterranean Sea to reach Europe so far this year. About 2,500 have died trying to make the journey. Fighting between Palestinians and Israeli security forces at Al-Aqsa Mosque has continued for a third day. Israeli forces were seen on the roof of the holy site. They stormed the mosque over the weekend, which led to confrontations between Palestinians and the military. The Jerusalem's Affairs Department said at least 16 Palestinians have been injured. On Monday, security forces stormed Al-Aqsa again and attacked Palestinians with tear gas and stun grenades. Israeli police said three Palestinians were arrested. Authorities have asked Egypt to quickly investigate the shooting of Mexican tourists in Egypt. The foreign minister of Mexico is set to go to Egypt to discuss the investigation. Over the weekend, Egyptian security forces opened fire on a caravan of tourists in Egypt's western desert. President Enrique Peña Nieto said 14 Mexicans were involved in what he called a grave incident. Mexico says two Mexicans were killed and six are missing. The Egyptian Interior Ministry says they mistakenly killed 12 people and wounded 10 others. They say they thought they were militants. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.